Okay, this video is going to go over how to get a random number. Uh, why do we need a random number? Well, in, in this case, we are going to write a guessing game. Uh, so we need to get a random, random number for our uh, player to try to guess. So the easiest way to get a random number in the shell is to use the dollar random variable. So if we look, I just have echo dollar random. We run the, the script. Every time we run the script, we'll get a different number. So um, I looked at the man page for bash because I was interested in knowing a little more about random. Random. And it turns out that it will get you a number between 0 and 32767. Seven. Uh, so, so it's not really that random. So I would not recommend you use this for anything useful. Like if you're writing your own encryption algorithm and you need some randomness, I wouldn't use this. Uh, but we can use it for our little guessing game. So you know anything, Rich? Are we going to have users guess a number from zero to thirty-two thousand and, and make that happen? No, we're not going to going to do that. So we're going to actually look at another little script to see how we, we're going to actually get a value that matches our parameters. So in this case, I have a script that says num one equals random mod ten. So if you recall, uh, the modulus operator will give us um, the remainder. So if we divide a number by 10, we'll get a remainder from 0 to 9. So if we want 10 values, we can do random mod 10. And then if we echo number 1, num1, one, we echo num1, we'll see we'll get values from 0 to 9. So I don't know if you guys have ever played guessing games, but I've never played a guessing game where I started at 0. Normally it's from 1 to 10, right? So if we want to make it actually be 1 to 10, that's not what I wanted. If we want it to be number, no, guess from 1 to 10, we need to go modify our code a little bit. So this random mod 10 is going to give us a number from 0 to 9. So we need to add 1 to it at the end to get a number from 1 to 10. Right, so now if we run random enough times we should see that we get from 1 to 10. So we got a 1 and we got a 10. So we know we're getting 1 to 10. So just to recap, if you're doing a guessing game, which we're going to do, depending on what I tell you to guess, you need to do uh, get a random number, use a modulus operator based on what I tell you. So if I tell you to do 1 to 10, uh, you'll do the, the high number and then you'll add 1 to it because the results will be 0 to 9. If I tell you 1 to 100, you'll do 100 here, and then you'll still need to add 1 to it. We always want to add 1 to it when we're doing modulus and we're doing our guessing game. So that is how we're going to use a random number uh, to create our guessing game.